Hi, I'm Sapentia. This is a very introductory step course for beginners. 4.5. ANOVA is F value. One way ANOVA, FIFAS. Okay. Uh, so far, we mentioned uh, one way ANOVA is needed when we have a below situation. For example, we have uh, three groups. Uh, we want to compare the means of uh, three college male students' height. We just want to know the three means are same or not. In this case, we have to do ANOVA. So today, we will learn the essence of ANOVA, that is, F value. Okay, um, you need to remind the T test and G test. In G test, at first time, we calculate the G value, and then we use the G value in the G distribution, that is a uh, um, standard normal distribution. And uh, we find the P value from the G table, right? This pattern, this process is the same in T test. In T test, at first time, we calculate the T value, and then we use it in the t distribution and uh, we find the p value from the t table how about the anova what does exist in anova it is f value in anova we first calculate f value and then we use the f value in the f distribution and also, likewise, in prior cases, G-test, T-test, we also find the p-value from the F table, right? All process are same in G-test, T-test, and ANOVA. Sometimes we call it F-test, right? And um, do you remember uh, the question in the first video of ANOVA? Um, our main question here is whether three group means are same or not. But why is the name analysis of variance instead of analysis of mean or analysis of average? We just want to know, we just compare the means of three groups. So, um, it is logical that we can expect the name is analysis of uh, mean, but now we have the name is analysis of variance. It is very questionable. You have to ask a question like this to yourself. Okay, F value. Please remember one thing, this point, F value is a ratio of two variance. F value is a ratio of two variance. So, because of this reason, we call it analysis ANOVA. Oh, sorry, analysis of variance. Uh -huh. But it still looks weird because uh, how could we know if three means are same or not just only by two variance? How? Okay, so to, uh, uh, to answer this question, let's go back to the variance. The variance is calculated like this. Sigma from uh, i equal 1 to n and uh, all observation xi and uh, subtracted by x bar. This is a uh, average of x and then we squared. Why? Um, just to subtract the mean value of x, the final value might be positive, some of them are negative, so we just to simply sum up all them all messed up. 
so we uh, squared all things and then make it them uh, all positive and then sum up all values and then the denominator is n minus 1 and is uh, the sample size right okay now let's check one example here if our data is um, 1 2 3 4 5 only 5 data uh, in that case the mean value is 3 mm -hmm. and then variance is 1 minus 3 2 minus 3 3 is mean value 3 minus 3 4 minus 3 5 minus 3 right and then all values are squared and then sum up all things and finally divide by 4 because the sample size is 5 and minus 1 is 4 right so the final number of our variance is 2.5 this is the calculation of variance right okay let's check our example uh, this was used in prior video a um, internet service provider company want to know customer total charges are different from their payment method in this case uh, the dependent variable is a uh, total charges this is uh, amount of money paid by customer and the independent variable is a uh, payment method we have uh, four groups in this independent variable bank transfer credit card electronic check mail check right and here we have some graphs like uh, total charges uh, box plot and distributions and uh, Descriptive statistics, the sample size uh, 7,000 something, mean is uh, 2,000 something. And uh, we have a uh, very detailed uh, descriptive statistics of four groups, total charges here. And uh, this is a box plot and distribution plot from Jamovi. Okay. Okay. So let's check the uh, F value. As I said, F value is a ratio of two variance. Here, the main point is two variance. Why? Um, in a prior uh, slide, for example, let's go back here. Okay. Um, when we calculate the variance, we first find out the mean and then we subtract the mean from all observation right so let's think about this one f value is a ratio of two variance two variance it means that we have to find out two different mean because um for calculating variance we have to know the mean so two variance okay there may be there are two means right uh, this is the um, plot of, uh, of uh, our data can you find uh, two means here two type of means here yeah the first mean is GM general mean this is the overall mean mean value of all data okay and uh, the second type of mean is group mean this one this one this one and this one so we have uh, two types of mean general mean and group mean so okay what is the next um, next one is a uh, first variance the first variance is variance of each group mean from general mean, grand mean. Anyway, GM is a, a grand mean or general mean anyway. As you can see here, as um, uh, the deviation, 
the variance is like this from the first group and uh, grand mean, the second group mean and grand mean, third group mean and group mean, very small, and the uh, final fourth group mean and group mean, great general mean, grand mean, anyway. So this deviation, this variance is first variance and we call it between variance. Do you understand why it is called between variance? Because uh, this variance is between grand mean and each group's variance. So we call it grand, not grand, between variance, right? Okay. Um, uh, what if, what if the between variance is large, large, it means that the mean values of each group are far from the grand mean. Um, strictly speaking, it means that at least, this is very important, at least, at least, this word is very, very important in ANOVA. Mm -hmm. At least one of them one of the three, at least one of the three, is different from others. Why? Okay. What is the uh, meaning of the between variance here? Between variance. If between variance is large, very, very large, it means that, for example, uh, now we have our grand mean is here, but if our grand mean is, uh, for example, uh, here, for example. In that case, the deviation is larger than our first case. What does it mean that? At least, at least one of them, one of the uh, four, not three, <laughs> sorry, one of them is significantly different from others, right? So, this is a between variance. But, the problem is that we don't know how much large between variance is sufficiently large. Because the variance is very depending on the unit. And just we have a one number. So we can't decide. Uh, what is the probability that between variance is accidentally large? We don't know. So, likewise t-test, we need a reference, reference number to compare with between variance. Um, let's remind the t-test, exactly speaking, t-value, t-value, t-value. Um, do you remember the t-value um, equation? t-value was calculated as uh, x a bar minus x b bar. The numerate part means the difference of average value of two groups, group A and B's difference. And then we divide by this number as s and divide by root n. Strictly speaking, this part, denominator part, is a standard error, but um, just I uh, simply, I just simply uh, speaking, that is a standard deviation. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, here, why do we incorporate standard deviation here? If you um, uh, check the video, the t, t value, t test, maybe you know, but um, one more time, I explain uh, the reason why we incorporate here the um, standard deviation. The reason we incorporated and included the standard deviation here is um, we don't know this part is how large is sufficiently large. We don't know. In t value, our interest is numerate this part because we want to know um, uh, to compare 
the two average, two means of two groups. We just want to know who is larger than the other. That is our point and our interest. So the numerator part is our interest, our concern. However, this number is just difference. We don't know how large is sufficiently large. So we need a reference number. That is standard deviation. Why we use standard deviation? Uh, conceptually, the standard deviation is a gap and deviation, right? How about this? This is a gap and this is a conceptually deviation. But this number, standard deviation, is randomly occurred. So it means that the standard deviation is a meaningless number. Meaningless deviation, meaningless gap. So the t value is also kind of a ratio of this part and this part. This part is our concern, and this part is just reference number. It looks very similar with f value, right? The mechanism, the conceptual mechanism is the same. Why do we use standard deviation here? We just want to compare. We just want to compare with this number is how much large. So if this number is smaller than this number, it means that the mean difference of two groups average is smaller than the randomly occurred meaningless deviation. This number is less than this number. What's the meaning? The deviation of two groups difference is less than the meaningless deviation. So, wow, this is not significant difference, statistically, of course. Okay, likewise, t-test, we need a reference number to compare with between variance. This part is between variance in f value. Okay, we need this part, one more reference number, that is a second variance, right? Because we couldn't decide how much large the between variance is, you know? So, um, the t-value and f values underlying mechanisms are exactly the same. So our next step is second variance. Our second variance is a variance of observation from group mean. That is inside group variance like this. You can see here, this is inside group variance. This is also inside group variance, right? So this is the second type of variance. And uh, we call it within variance because it is inside variance. This is the same as the standard deviation in t value, right? So what is the meaning of the within variance? In t-test, in t-test, when you calculate the t value, it is the same as the standard deviation in the denominator. The standard deviation is randomly occurred and it is meaningless deviation. Likewise, the within variance is also randomly occurred and it is perceived as meaningless deviation. Thus, when between variance is sufficiently larger than within variance, we can conclude that between variance is statistically large. And it also means, it also means at least, at least one group's mean is significantly different from others. This is the essence and main point of F value. You have to 
the conceptual uh, model, I mean, you have to, this uh, concept of the equation, this is very important. But um, I think uh, nobody uh, teach, nobody's uh, talking about this kind of story. Um, anyway, this is very important, I think. So consequently, F value is a ratio of between variance to within variance. Here, the within variance is perceived uh, as a meaningless deviation or meaningless variance because it is randomly occurred. So if the between variance is sufficiently larger than within variance, oh yeah, in that case, we can conclude that, wow, at least one group's mean is different, significant different from others. But if the within variance is not sufficiently large or even between variance is smaller than within variance, it means that, wow, our between variance is smaller than the meaningless variance, meaningless deviation. So, wow, this is not um, meaningful. This is not a significant difference in our groups. Um, some textbook uh, call the between variance as uh, MS treatment. MS means a mean square treatment or it called MS between. Some uh, textbook called uh, within variance as uh, MS error, mean squared error or mean squared within. However, all things are same. All things are same things. Okay, and um, likewise, t value. Our interest is uh, the numerator, the between variance. This part. This part is our concern, our interest, but we cannot decide how much large it is. So we incorporated the reference number that is uh, within variance. And uh, we make a ratio with the, the two variances. And this ratio is the F value. Theoretically, as I said, the denominator within variance is randomly occurred. So we expect the between variance should be sufficiently larger than within variance. In that case, we said, oh, maybe it is significantly different from others, at least one. As I said, only one, not only one. At least one group is significantly different from others. Mm -hmm. So that is a F value. This is the concept of F value. Um, this is not a um, complicated theory. Very simple, and it is the same as the T value. I expect you have to understand this concept and then go to the calculation of F value and then uh, further analysis. Okay, today we are done here, 4.5. ANOVA is F value. One way ANOVA, fifth. See you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.